Welcome to Swim 2020 for May 590, a range that um, very much nearly didn't happen, uh, nearly destroyed me. And um, and thank you to the May 590 Cheer Squad for cheering us on and making it happen. Um, so we've been given a whole lot of questions um, sent through from you all. Thank you very much. And I'm going to run through the range, run through all the different pieces, run through the fits, run through all the questions with you. and. Um, if you have any other questions, let us know. So, um, we've got two styles. We have Coral and we have Cassie. I'm wearing Coral because I wore Cassie in the photo shoot, so I wanted to show you that I could sort of do both. I am generally a 10D to 10 double D. Um, I, we are all actually extremely passionate about a bus fitting in our swimsuit. It's actually one of the main reasons I wanted to design swimwear was because I wanted to get something that felt good um, and also something made obviously in Australia. So that was big um, for us. So I'm going to show you our um, coral cosy and I'm going to show you inside out. Obviously, this is not the way you wear it, um, but I wanted to show you how much working is in this bust um, because it was full on to make this. Uh, so this is our own foam. And we've cut it and we've molded the cups to create the bust. So this is all elastic through here. There's also rubber all through the back. So you feel really, really secure. I know it's not underwire. I know a lot of girls will sort of say, oh, I can only do underwear, underwire. I absolutely promise you this will give you the support. You have the really thick elastic through here. Then back through the other side, you have the seam through here. And then through the front as well, We've done top stitching all through the front so you also get a really good line through your bust through there as well. Now I'm going to switch to, well I'm not physically going to get changed, but I'm going to show you the Cassie now. Now the Cassie is this one through here. This is the one that I was wearing in the photo shoot in the freckle. Um, this one does not have sewn in cups. It has molded removable cups that you can take in and out. Can I take it out? Yes, I can. So there's a little hole through there and you can take that out through there. It has a working drawstring through here. So you can undo it. Really good for the breastfeeding for the people who are asking that question. Um, but both of them, like you can pull this strap down and obviously breastfeed as well uh, if that's something that you need. Um, this one here, I fit this one really well through here as well. So 12 double D or 10 double D as well. This one here definitely, the coral definitely is a lot more, I think it's probably definitely more suited in terms of, it fits a smaller bust really well, but we designed this one for a bigger bust. So I fit this one up to an H cup and it looked absolutely amazing. Um, and then this one I think probably, depending on your back size and things like that as well, but I'd say probably anything bigger than a double d you might be sort of because it's sort of like a shelf bra this sort of line through here creates a little bit more of a shelf so you will have more on show it'll look amazing uh but depending on how you like to wear it and things like that also through cassie this is doubled straps through here it's double lined it has rubber all through here as well so these kind of act like your straps um whereas in coral Again, all rubber through here. I don't know if you can see my little adjuster at the back there as well. Um, so they have a similar feel, even though they look really, really different through there with this little shoulder cap, it does still give you a fair bit of support through the bust as well. Um, so overall, we very much designed for a bust, but even if you are sort of smaller, um, this one, definitely Cassie, is fantastic for that shape through there. And in terms of if you're like a curvy sort of shape, if you kind of go, oh, I've got really big hips, much bigger sort of bum, and then I'm smaller on top, this fabric is all compression fabric. So once you get into it, it's going to give to where you need it to. You've got three layers of fabric through the front, three, two layers of fabric through the back. So it is super like sucky inny and then it gives to where you need it to as well so yeah okay one thing i forgot to mention about bus support and it's like my most favorite thing and i can't believe i forgot it is the side boning i love side boning it really holds you in if you have a bust um it feels like you don't sort of spread out i suppose um and it's sewn through here and it's in both the cozies um, you can't really sort of see it, whereas last year's you sort of could, but you can sort of he see here how kind of flexible it is. So it's really comfy to wear um, and it makes 
everything sit really nicely and smoothly and you feel really secure. So that's something that I really wanted to mention about bust because I think it makes a big difference if you don't have it. Okay, if you want um, a high cut ass, uh, this is not the cosy for you. I'm sorry, I'm not going there. I will turn around, I will show you my bum. Um, it has a really good coverage. Um, it's something Kel and I are very particular about and really good coverage through the front as well. Again, if you owned our Christina Cosy from last year, we haven't changed anything from the bust line down. So if you love that coverage from last year, it's exactly the same. Um, same with our um, Cassie Cosy. It's, uh, if you look and compare them both, I'm probably grabbing wrong, wrong sizes here, but you can see they're actually the same bum. So um, they're not high cut, but they're also not boy leg as well. So I find them to cut on the leg at a really good spot, and I find um, that I never feel insecure. I'm never picking it out of my bum either, which I think is a really important thing when you're standing around on the beach or swimming in the beach. Um, so yeah, that's the bum coverage. <laughs> I think I went into detail a lot last year. We use a compression fabric, um, so it is designed to suck you in. Uh, and it is a little bit of a struggle to get into. As I mentioned last year, you've got to do a little bit of a shimmy to get into it just over your hips. And then once it's on, you feel really good. And as I said last year as well, I would not be doing a video on camera in my cosy without it sucking me in. Um, we, do, we don't skimp on it either. We do three layers. Um, so with our coral, sorry, I'm terrible with names at the moment. Um, you've got your front ruching layer, you've got your regular layer, and then you've got the lining as well. The lining, I should mention as well, is made out of um, completely recycled PET bottles, which is just so amazing. Um, and same with uh, Cassie, she's got three layers through the front, two layers through the back. We always make sure we do a lining through the back as well. A lot of companies won't. Um, but then it goes see-through and stuff, and you don't want a see-through bum. So um, <laughs> definitely, again, our compression fabric, lovers of our leggings, lovers of our swimsuit of last year, we've used the same fabric because it is such a high-performance fabric and it never wears out. So um, if you're wanting a sucky-in swimsuit, um, this is the cosy for you. Okay, cool. All right, I'm wearing the Coral Cosy, and if you bought our Christina Cosy from last year, pretty much... The coral is exactly the same from underneath my bust down. We have not changed a bit of it. So we have all the ruching sort of through here. You can ruche it to wherever you want. You can pull it quite a bit down if you want as well, or you can sort of ruche it up through here and just have equal sort of ruching. The biggest difference between a coral and a cassie is the ruching. I have ruching. Cassie is a completely front, flat front but we still have three layers through here. So it definitely does hold you in. You don't feel sort of exposed and it is really sort of smoothing as well. So don't let that sort of turn you off. But if you are somebody who's like, no, no, I definitely want ruching, then this is the one. Coral is the only one that has the ruching. As when the preview goes up, we will have all measurements, um, all the models who are wearing it, I mean, I mean us, but like, you know, all the big girls who are wearing it on there, we'll all have all our sizes. We're all come in all different shapes, sizes, heights and everything like that. I recommend you've got to, if you can get it over your hips, then that is the right size for you. But don't be scared to sort of shimmy into it. You know, I'm wearing a size small. Yes, generally I do wear an extra small in our clothing, um, but because... I'm probably a little bit bigger on top. I've gone for the small in our cozies. Um, I've stayed my same size from last year. So if people have grabbed any of our cozies from last year, just stay that same size. Um, you won't need to sort of change that. And again, it's just sort of when you go to put it on, step into it, shimmy through the hips, pull it up, and then you're done. got all measurements up online uh, so you will be able to compare all the measurements they are substantially longer um, from I think it's XL 2x 3x 4x they are longer through the torso even though I'm not overly tall I have a really long torso and shorter legs it's a bit of a running joke around here because I always say I have short legs long torso um, and we find obviously being the compression fabric as well and then being extremely stretchy that it will stretch to sort of what you want as well. But if you did try last year's and you weren't happy with the torso length, 
these are longer so please compare the measurements online uh, we've gone into a lot of detail about where we measure from and everything like that so you can compare it we often recommend grabbing an old swimsuit or an old bodysuit or something like that and measuring it to compare it but do remember because it is a compression fabric and it is a stretch fabric that you will have a bit of leeway either way Sandy swim skirt, uh, she came about because I spend a lot of time at the beach with the kids and stuff like that and I was talking to Kel and I said, I want something that when I get out of the water that I'm not wrapped up in a towel but I'm also not sitting on the beach in my cosy. I wanted something. And she's like, well, what would you wear? And I said, I'd wear a little skirt. And she's like, all right, we make a little skirt. And I was like, yeah. So <laughs> she's a full little wrap around skirt. I'm going to undo her here. You can see like that through there. She then ties through that ties to the side she's made out of the same swimsuit fabric so she can get wet you can wear it down to the beach you can wear it at the beach you can wear it in the water but she is detachable so she's not sewn onto the cosy because we thought that would be more versatile she comes in three fabrics only um, she comes in our beautiful primrose floral she comes in the kismet and she comes in the one that I'm wearing which is beach babes yes, Ramona is amazing. Um, I have to say, I have never found a really good rashi, and that was part of our motivation. Um, Kel does a lot of snorkeling, so it was, she really wanted something that would work really well. Our inspiration was actually like a little bomber jacket. So that's where she sort of came from, and we were like a zip all the way through, so she can go all the way up, get my hair out of the way, all the way up like that, all the way down, obviously. You can undo her. She has um, separate sections here, all top stitching through here, Great little cuffs here, and she has pockets, um, which is probably the biggest feature and the biggest sort of nod to Made 590 in the whole range, I think. She comes in four fabrics. I'm wearing Beach Babes. She then has the Freckle, which is actually different to Kismet. So Kismet, I'm just gonna quickly show you, has the little copper kind of spots, and Freckle is just on its own. So when it's together, it is super cute. Okay, and then we have the beautiful primrose in actually the blue. And again, we actually did it in the opposite colorway so that when you wear it with your red primrose, again, it looks adorable. And then finally, we have pink mermaids, uh, which, you know, in truth was definitely made for Kel and I. And um, <laughs> she's very cute. And then she comes in also in the teal one. So again, like we like the mix and match of the colors and stuff. Um, I'm wearing a size extra small. I can wear a small too though if I want a little bit looser so it just depends and it looks really cute open as well so you don't have to swim in it if you like obviously you can swim in it <laughs> that's the design of it but if even if you're at the beach and you're sitting on the sand and you want to have like cover up and stuff like that this is um, this will keep you protected from the sun obviously and it's a really great rash here. We're really really happy with it. Very excited about this one. Well, I mean, if I had that crystal ball, I would let you know, but we have doubled production from last year. So we have made double the amount. Um, as you can tell, I'm freaking out, but um, it's the biggest investment we've ever made at Made 590. Um, but swimwear is something I'm extremely passionate about. I don't feel like enough is made in Australia. and I don't feel like enough is made out of um, the environmentally friendly fabrics. So this is something that we went all in for. So I feel like you won't miss out. Um, I feel like obviously there's particular sizes that will be more popular than not. But overall, I, I truly feel like we're going to be able to fill everybody's requirements. And we've also added the swim skirt in and we've also added the rash in as well. So it is a big collection. Four fabrics in coral, four fabrics in cassie. And um, I, think, I think it'll be great. <laughs> And we're very transparent about our pricing. Um, as you know, manufacturing in Australia is only getting more and more and more and more expensive. Um, and of course, this time around, we switched makers because our original maker um, said that these styles were too complicated for him to make. So we found the most amazing maker, Shirley. She is so pedantic, so particular. And honestly, I don't think we've ever produced something at as high a quality as these, um, this swim range. 
Of course, it's always going to come at a price tag, and I fully appreciate that. We are a completely ethical brand. Um, by ethical, it actually means you never haggle on price, and I never haggle on price. Um, I think that's why I found this renovation downstairs so bloody hard, because you kind of got to haggle a bit with um, work people, but uh, that's not me at all. Um, so, our closies are going to be $1.99. They're a little bit more than last year, purely because of a different maker. Dip, um, fabric is now more expensive to get into the country and to make um, and to print. Uh, we, these are a lot more complicated. Um, you know, the Christina Cosi was a really, in hindsight, a really simple shape. These have taken us forever to make. The pattern alone, the amount of samples we made, and then production was really, it was really expensive. Um, that's sort of the bottom line of it. They're worth it though, I promise you, there has never been anything that we've made that is better quality than these um, cosies. They're, they're flawless. I love them. <laughs> um, our rashies are one forty nine, um, and again, they're like that's really on par with the rest of the market. And we felt like they were really, really worth it. We could have priced them up more, um, but I want people to be able to get one or two of the pieces, or you know, get a cosy and a rashi. I think that that's something um, that I know a lot of our customers want, and so we kept them at one forty nine. 129 for our little um, sandy swim skirt. She uses a fair bit of fabric. There's only five sizes in sandy swim skirt, but she does fit um, anywhere from like extra small to 6X. Um, but because of that reason, she is using a fair amount of fabric because we wanted a good wrap through as well. Nothing worse than a cheap wrap around. <laughs> So, um, the slight thing that's holding us up at the moment is obviously the setup of our space. Um, we're not quite there yet. Uh, there's been a few delays with the rain and um, leaks, but we're getting there. So, we're aiming for an um, end of sort of November release, and then three days prior to the release online, there will be three days or two or three days for you to be able to come and try on the cozies. And then there will also be the preview online where everything will be up, all the measurements will be up, all the videos will be up and you'll be able to watch everything for everybody who's interstate, obviously, or who can't get into Marrickville. And you'll be able to um, obviously work it all out click on the notify me and all that sort of stuff and then yes you will also be able to try on in person we will keep you updated with the release date um, I don't want to give one right this second because we're still waiting for um, things to get fixed downstairs in the shop floor but I absolutely guarantee that we will have um, some days there where you'll be able to come in try it on make sure it's all correct um, yeah and all that sort of stuff What we're going to do, obviously, the same as last year in terms of we so believe in this um, product and this range, that for the we will go live with the range online and for the first three days, if you purchase within those first three days, you will be entitled to a refund if you get our co the COSI back to us in a certain time frame. It will all be detailed on the exchange form and returns form and things like that and also on the website so you'll know all the exact dates. I can't tell you the exact dates at the moment, but I do know that it's... Um, for the first three days, if you purchase it, you will be able to, you can get it, try it on. If it's not right, send it back and you will receive a refund. Anything after those three days though, it'll only be our exchange or credit note as what we always offer. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, I'm really hoping that answered so many of your questions. Um, and thank you for sending them through too. It really means a lot and it makes us think about it all as well. Um, so we have a big Q&A page that Kel has written as well online. Uh, we'll do a little swipe up, but on the website, it's on the main page and it says Made 590 Swim Q&A. So you can swipe up and read up all the other little details as well.